It's right around the corner, Juicy. Well, well, I'm going to give you my number. When you think about it, because I know, because I've been in that state too. Can you hold on? No, girl, you should take my number around here. Don't be, don't be antisocial. Don't never be one of these girls that be left out here just because you're stuck in your feelings. Well, we all can get money as long as you do it the right way. Get hooked up with these social services here. Social services, such as the William Way and such as the uh, Mazzoni Center. Girl, that's it. Just in case if you got sick. What, if you, what would you do if you got sick out here? Who would you got to get you quit a pole or something like that? Where would you go? I'm don't, don't, don't be, girl, don't be, don't be like that. Don't do that. Don't do that, girl. I mean, you got good doctors out here. Sup, Virgo? Let's tap into your energy. Let's see what's going on real quick. Let's tap into the uh, the collective. Let's see what uh, the current energies are. Let's see where the moon is. Where the fuck is the moon? Higher than the moon and I'm in tune. So don't run that. Because if you run that... Where's my other phone? One moment, Virgo. One second. Cause if she run up, we guarantee she ain't gonna leave looking <laughs> Um, where's the moon? Sorry, Virgo. I should have been prepared. I'm sorry. Um, where's the moon? Moon and Taurus. Oh, okay. So I'm getting something about juicy, like a juicy type of energy. I'm getting like, you might get some tea. You might get some tea from a Taurus. This might be some juicy information here. Um... Something about Mercury and Libra. So I'm getting you're communicating more balanced. So this could be in uh, many different aspects of your life. I see you doing something as far as communication goes. I see you putting some type of care. This could be into overall work, Virgo. Or this could be uh, within your finances. Something about your finances here. I see you putting more work into your finances. I see you putting money into the banks as well. I'm getting you're putting money into accounts. This could be um like a main account. Something about a main account here or like a joint account. Let's see what comes out in the cards for you. <clears throat> for the highest good for the Virgo Collective. Let's see. Virgo, how you doing first? What's going on with you? What you want me to pull on? Get in the comments and tell me what you want me to pull on. What's going on with you? Let's see. So I'm getting something about um, emotions here. Queen of Cups. You could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. So I'm getting something about empathy here as well. So you could be empathizing at this time. I see you looking into the future. Yeah, like I said, I see you doing something uh, as far as your banks go. I feel like you're doing something as far as finances go. Many of you could be um, something unexpected. So I'm getting uh, unexpected emotions here. Some type of unexpected uh, wave of emotions. Like you could just be feeling uh, very emotional at this aspect. This could be about finances here as well for many of you. I'm getting something about, um, you could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. This Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio is in their feelings over you. It's a woman. I feel it's a feminine energy. This feminine energy is under judgment. It could be a Cancer. Heavy emphasis on a Cancer. They're under judgment here. I'm getting this person is being called out. So I'm getting something about finances here as well. So you could be calling a cancer out as far as their finances go, or they feel called out by you surrounding finances. You could uh, identify this person as giving to uh, another option or like I'm getting there's money, but th this money isn't going where it's supposed to be going. 
That's the problem here. That's the overall issue. There's money, but this money is not going to where it's supposed to be going. This could be uh, to your children. Your children are owed money from this person. This is someone that you're thinking about. You're deeply thinking about this person. They're owed this money. They will get this money with the chariot card. If you have to go through like the court system, if you have to go through like, you know, the police or uh, the any type of uh, any type of official person, any type of, you know, um, court system, whatever the case may be, I'm getting do it. I'm getting don't wait. Mm -mm. Something about a call here as well. Someone's being called out for their bullshit. It's a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. Let's see here. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> yeah, the Page of Cups. So I'm getting some type of offer here. So someone made you an offer. Someone got creative. I'm getting whatever they, they, they did. I'm also getting something is dead. Something is dead. Something is dead as shit here. Seven of Wands, something has backfired. So I'm getting a situation could be played out or a specific person could be played the fuck out. It's dead. They feel like, someone feels like someone wants, I'm getting someone wants to fight with you. It's like someone wants to stand up to you. I feel an energy here where this person here, they, uh, they have anxiety and worry. I'm also getting someone is very afraid to show their face. They have anxiety uh, and worry around showing their face. Yeah, it's your perception. So something that you can see, you can see the demon in this person. Something like that, Virgo. Take it how it resonates. I'm getting you see a demon inside someone and they know you can see it. They know you can see them for who they are. For face value, they know you can see this. Yeah, so you may know that someone's very cheap. Maybe cheap in spirit. Someone, you know, I'm getting someone like uh, they smile like a chessy cat. Like they, it's like a cheap type of look. This person is cheap. Someone owes you. They're not trying to give up, you know, what, what's owed to you. Someone has like a vendetta against you here, Virgo. Someone's wicked as fuck. I'm getting you can see it in their eyes first. Let's see. Yeah, it's your perception. Whatever your yeah, definitely the face. There's a lot of gossip surrounding this person's face with the Knight of Swords energy. A lot of gossip and you know, yeah. I'm definitely getting someone hates uh, their face or some shit like that. Nine of Swords and then you have the uh, Knight of Swords. There's like paranoia, anxiety, or worry. Like someone keeps like their hands like over their face or something like that. Someone's face could be swollen or um, a lot of people had, have like told this person that they're ugly in life. So someone could have an, uh, an ugly spirit. Yeah. Yeah, someone has an ugly spirit and you can see it on their face. Someone's so negative, it's like their face is like... Um, Yeah, we're going to stop there. Could be an Aries. Something about an Aries here. Or someone's very mad. Someone's always angry and mad. It's an Aries. I'm also getting, this is this is a situation that you know about. You know that someone's always mad in the eye. They always have like mad eyes or something. Yeah, three of swords in the tower. This person is going through a tower moment at this time. Something's being severely dismantled surrounding this person. I'm getting severe um, dismantling. When it comes to, uh, this could even be a building. Many of you could be seeing some type of uh, reconstruction. Or you could be getting something uh, done here. I'm getting something painful. Something uh, could be hurting. Something hurts this person. In Aries. In Aries has hurt this per so I'm getting this person has a has had a realization that uh this person that they're with could be an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, a Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio, a Gemini Libra Aquarius, heavy Cancerian energy. This cancer has totally betrayed them. I'm getting they're finally catching on to someone's betrayal, to to someone who uh, backstabbed them. 
So I'm getting someone did something to, to you. Someone judged you, Virgo, but the whole time they were getting fucked. Maybe literally. I don't know. Let's see. You're the eight of wands, nine of pentacles. So someone communicated something here to you or something was communicated to you here, Virgo. Something was given to you. Information I'm getting here. Page of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, and the Eight of Wands. Something was communicated here. Someone spying? Could be a Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn. I'm also getting uh, someone was spying on you. So I'm getting someone spying on you and communicating. Could be a Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn. I'm getting something about your independence. I feel a lot of uh, spying, Virgo. Someone spying on your communication. So whoever you're communicating with, it's like someone spies on like everyone you communicate with. I'm also getting something about fast movement or prayers. You're praying a lot, Virgo. Yeah, the Seven of Pentacles, you're, you're discerning a lot. You're using your discernment when it comes to certain, uh, maybe people. I see you, uh, I see you on your, uh, and I'm getting independence. I see you on some type of, um, retreat. I feel you could have retreated from uh, many people at this time or a need for you too. The Two of Cups, yeah. So this could be, uh, you could be dealing with an Aquarius. I'm also getting something contractual. There's truth and clarity surrounding some type of uh, intellect. This could be words. This could also be, a, this, this could also be footage. There's truth and clarity surrounding an Aquarius in a relationship or footage. Or something that you spoke, you spoke some type of truth here. This could be someone in the public eye. This could be um, an Aquarius that you're dealing with. Or someone who's very influential. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius. This Sag is trapped in their head. Yeah. So someone's trapped in their head about it and ending with you. So if, you, if you've ended things with a Sagittarius or if you're disregarding a Sagittarius, they're in their head about you. They're thinking a lot about you here. You have the Death card and the Two of Swords. They don't want something to end. I'm getting they, someone will not give up. It's hard. It's hard. Or it was very hard collaborating with the Libra. That's karma. They collaborate. They <laughs> they collaborated with a karmic, a karmic person. This could be a corporation of some sort. Someone could have made collaborations uh, where you work at or a place that you go. <laughs> they made collaborations with someone else. Could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Yeah. Whoever they they collaborated with, they feel challenged by you. Whoever they worked with. The person that they work with is losing their fucking mind. Let's see. Let's see. They're losing their mind. They're losing their coin. They're losing their coins. It's like, why? Why even work against the Virgo? What you do it for? Why did they work against y'all, Virgo? I want to know. Get in the comments and tell me your story. Why? Why did they work against you? What did you do? Ten of Pentacles? You were focused on your business? Your own business? You were focused on your Ten of Pentacles energy. And someone decided to collaborate against you because they're jealous? Because they're ugly? Because they hate their own face? Because you're cuter? Why? Let's see. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> mm, someone's cheap.
Someone's fucked up. Someone doesn't want you to see how fucked up they are. Ooh. It's like someone, they barricade themselves. Someone like barricades themselves themselves because they don't want people to see like who they truly are. So someone's really fucked up. This could be like at heart. Someone's fucked up at heart. They don't want you to see how fucked up they truly are. Cause you're shining a light on their ass regardless. Something will be revealed soon. Yes, I'm getting very soon. Someone's work is coming to an end. Yeah, too much deception. Someone's spewing hate. Someone's spewing negativity and they think they can just do this. They're crazy as fuck is what it truly is. They think they can just spew hate with the eight of swords and the lovers because I'm getting this person, something about their face. Yeah, the ace of swords. Something about this person's face. That's the truth. Yeah, so someone's face is fucked. I don't know. Take it how it resonates, Virgo. Someone here, uh, they battle mentally. Could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Some They only think about karma. Someone thinks about karma so much they got their ass tangled right up in this wheel. They right up on this wheel thinking they're so invincible, not knowing they're on the fucking wheel. Everyone, everyone uh, gets a ride on the wheel. The fuck? People think they're so invincible. I wonder the fuck why. Someone's gonna regret all of this toxic bullshit that they're spewing out of their face. It's like a carefree, I don't give a fuck type of attitude. Okay. Whoever this person is, keep on let keep on letting them do what they're doing. Just let them do it. Since they don't give a fuck, just be like, okay, that's fine. Don't try to stop them. Don't give them no warnings. They feel like their actions will never have a reaction or, you know, they can't get caught up with this bullshit. Yeah, the Ten of Swords. Then you have, look, somebody, they, they do not want you to see their face. If you see that, you might fucking scream or run. If you see what this person looks like, you might be out. That shit might take you the fuck out. As soon as you see him, you might get sick. Someone's confused about their victory. That's what it is. They're confused in their own position, but... They're so ten of pentacles and stable, spewing out lies and negativity and bullshit. Who is this? This could be many people, Virgo, when it comes to you. This could be uh, many different people, many different aspects of your life. Heavy emphasis on the face. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Someone's a liar. Could be a Pisces. This Pisces is a fucking liar. Yeah, heavy emphasis on a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio. They're a liar. Someone cloaks their emotions. They hide themselves. Keep getting a hiding. Could be a Libra, a Virgo, or an Aquarius. Could be all of these signs. They're hiding from you, Virgo, because they don't want you to see their face. Too much deception. Too much deception out of this person's mouth. It's gonna get their ass caught up majorly. Yeah, with the five of wands, definitely. I'm getting I'm getting people are already uh knocking this motherfucker upside their head spiritually. This person is already getting fucked up in the spiritual. Yeah, three of wands. It's been constructed. <laughs> They're playing with the devil. It'll be very easy for this devil to manage their ass. This demonic force, this demonic energy that they're playing with, all that spell work and all that bullshit. <laughs> Gonna get your ass served very soon. Keep letting them do what they're doing, Virgo. We just gonna keep sitting back and watching how shit play out. Keep holding the light up on their ass. We just gonna sit and watch.
are much wiser than these people are with the Ace of Swords. We just gonna sit and watch. We might go back up in that shell every now and again when we need to, when we need to recuperate. Go right up into hermit mode. I see many of you working from home. You're doing something from your home. It's homebound. Like a lot of work here for you, Virgo. I'm getting a lot of work to do. Yeah, the Knight of Pentacles, a lot of work. Or someone has motive here when it comes to you. Yeah, you can see the deception, but it's gonna backfire majorly if they keep on doing what they're doing. If they keep orchestrating Shit. around your name and around your work, they will soon find out. Someone feels like they're invincible, but they will find out very soon. Karma is already tapping them on their ass for this reckless shit that they've done in the past with the Seven of Cups. This person does reckless shit all the time. Something about children here as well. The Empress could be a mother figure here. Someone doesn't even know who God is. The Hierophant. They don't even know who God is. They know who the, de who the devil is though. They know how to be toxic, but I bet you've never heard this person speak about God. I bet you've never heard this person mention God's name, but they'll spit some ill, raggedy, crucial words to you before they spit something of God to you. How, why? Why? Five of Swords, because they have so much hate in their heart, it's beginning to show on their face. This is why you will never see this person's face. Let's get some Oracle cards for you, Virgo. Yeah, with the Page of Wands and the Eight of Swords. Um, this person is a liar. They lie. They tell nothing but lies out of their mouth. Someone feels like they're crazy is like a spiritual like type of um, power. They feel like because their mind is so fucked up and they be hearing all types of weird sh Oh, I'm hearing this, I'm hearing that. You ain't hearing shit. The Page of Wands, you're lying. It's propaganda. You are lying, dear, and the truth is not in you. The Temperance card and the Four of Cups. Very discontent spiritually within the mind, body, spirit, and soul. Most definitely. Someone flaunts their body as well. They want people to, to see their body. That's it. That's all. They just want people to see their body. Let's go further. Let's get some oracle cards for you, Virgo. <clears throat> Despair. This motherfucker's in despair. Look, another card holding their face. This person will not show their face. This person hasn't spoken to you. Message of concern. This person is concerned when it comes to you. They haven't spoken to you, but they're concerned. Big 14. <laughs> Someone's childish as fuck. Someone still thinks, you know, like they're 14. They think they're going to remain 14 forever. That's the kind of shit this is giving off. You could be dealing with an air sign, a Gemini Libra Aquarius. Yeah, occupation and official person. Many of you are very uh, official in what it is that you do here. You're on a pathway here. Definitely expect some type of uh, an unexpected income. Inspect some type of increase here. Let's see. One more for the Virgo Collective, for the highest good. So you have journey here, Virgo. So I see you going on a journey. You're taking a trip. If you're a masculine uh, energy, I see you taking a trip with a feminine. This is your main female. Yeah, they're concerned though. This main female could be concerned about her wealth. She's concerned about her finances. But I'm getting you have thoughts. You're deliberating. Could be on a house. Someone's deliberating on a house. And maybe about leaving someone out in the cold for a house or, or putting someone out of a house. 
here. I'm getting there are changes within the uh, way someone communicates with you here, Virgo. There will be changes in the way someone's communicating or how they communicate. Yeah, so someone could be communicating legally. So I'm getting uh, someone may be served. Someone may be served some papers here. It could be about their finances. Yeah, so someone wants your innocence, Virgo. That's what it is. Or something surrounding a child. Someone's being put on child support. This could be you, Virgo. Or um, you could be putting someone on child support. Yeah. Let's see. Let's get you another oracle before I, I get out of here, Virgo. Um, let's see. So you have ninth house, exploration. I see you exploring something at this time, Virgo. I see you exploring. Um, you've almost mastered something here. I see many of you healed as well. Many of you are healed. I'm getting these people you are dealing with, they are not. Entrance and expand. I see you expanding, Virgo, in all areas of your life. Something about um, ascending. You're ascending at this time. It's because of your actions. The actions that you take will allow you to to um, ascend, to expand. Yeah, you're going to reach some level of uh, sustainability here. You're seeing something. Mm -hmm. You're seeing something here, clearly. It's someone who, who it's like they, they, I don't know. Someone's retarded or excuse me. Mm, 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 mm. Someone's um, a little behind. Yeah, someone's behind. Someone has not, it's like someone hasn't taken a break or went within in a long time. Yeah, something is dead. Something smells dead or something is dead. Someone. Yeah, okay. Pisces energy. Nurture. And then you have nurture here. So I'm getting someone needs to take care of something. Something is dead. Could be someone that you're dealing with. Yeah, so I'm getting something entrapped or something has been activated. Someone could be sick or, um, I'm getting something about chakra alignment here as well, or something has flared up. Yeah, I'm getting there's tension. Um, could be uh, dealing with an Aries, surrounding an Aries. Something has flared up surrounding an Aries here. Someone could have caught something, um, could be an Aries, I don't know. This is what I'm getting for you, Virgo. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Check my description box where y'all can book that personal reading. And remember, you get 25% off any reading on my website until October the 1st. All right, Virgo, I'll talk to y'all later. Y'all take care. <laughs>